Hi everyone, it's Luke here from Eurisco Studios and in this tutorial I'll be telling you how to uh, control the um, the lights in the building by using a gradient. Uh, you can see here I've got the, the usual building model that I've been using and what we're going to be doing is setting up a gradient on the y-axis to control the lights. So I'm just going to open up the node editor I'm just going to add the VRoom node. Okay, let's plug that in. Okay, I'm just going to choose the office medium. Is it window garnish to none? Let's just render that out. Okay. Good, so we've got all of the lights. I think there's 100% of the lights on there. Yeah, lights on all the way up, I do believe. Okay. Yep, 100% of the lights are on. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is you see the grid here? Building's not really to scale, but this grid is uh, 100 meters, so. Uh, make this building about 300 meters tall or something like that. I'm going to do, I'm just going to unplug the room for a moment, grab ourselves a gradient, set the gradient input to Y coordinate, and let's put in here 300. Set that alpha to zero. Let's make this stepped so we can see exactly where this point is on the model. Plug the alpha into the diffuse. And let's take a look. Okay, that's all completely white, so that's not in shot yet. Okay, there we are. So just for this example shot, I'll take it up a bit more. Okay, that'll do for now. Okay, so now we've got our gradient and we know it's roughly going to between be between these two values. So let's just set that for 220. Okay. Let's get our node editor back. Now what I'm going to do is plug the uh, let's plug V room back in, and let's now put this gradient, the alpha, into the lights on percentage. Now usually um, nodes are edited per spot which means essentially per pixel. Now what VRoom does is that it will evaluate certain inputs um, on a per room basis or a per window basis things like that because obviously doing this on a per you can't have lights on evaluated per spot because that simply wouldn't make any sense. So now we've got that let's do quick render so it should be 100% of the lights on up to a certain point and then 100% off there you go and you can see that up there just abort that let's bring our gradient back okay, let's turn this back to a hermite let's just render that so you should see a rather slow graduation from the bottom of the building all the way up to the top see 100% at the bottom slowly fading away to nothing as you get to the top let's just do something a bit more interesting so obviously in a real building you'd have a lot more variation than that 
you wouldn't have a smooth graduation like that. It wouldn't make any sense, really. So I'm just going to throw down a few keys. Of course, the good thing is about VRoom is that it's very easy to make these kinds of changes. If we didn't have this, we'd have to go and specifically change the texture on every single polygon. And if you end up with a client who doesn't like the uh, the results for whatever reason, you'll have to go through and manually change everything again. So there we go, you can see these gradual changes. See 20% on, fading up to 100, and then they're all turned off. Let's see if we can do something a bit more thin. If we just want a single floor to be on, a bit more distinct in that lower area down here. supposed to do. You should see, yeah, roughly a single floor there. Anyway, I hope that gives you just a quick demonstration of uh, some of the power of the nodes, gradients combined with VRAM. Okay, continuing on this same theme, I've uh, zoomed into the bit bit of building here so you can see a little bit more detail and I'm now going to show you how you can combine these gradients together because obviously you don't want to be just restricted to just performing variation on the y-axis so in the example I'm going to show you what if we want a, a stairwell or something like that you often see vertical um, sets of lights being switched on so if you open up the node editor again now I've already created the gradients here. I've got the Y gradient, which is the same one as before, I've just modified it ever so slightly. And now we've also got the Z gradient tied into the Z coordinate there. Now if I just plug this I'll just plug this into the diffuse so you can see what the Z coordinate is doing. You can see it's just giving us a hundred percent value vertically there. So now that we've got the position correct and the where we want it, let's plug this back in. Now we grab these two gradients, grab a math scalar max node, and plug the two alphas in plug the result into the percentage of lights on. Okay, and let's see the result that we get from that. Here we go. And there you have it. We've got a few floors here with the lights switched on, and we've also got a vertical stairwell or something like that there. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll See you next time.